Hi everyone, welcome to the Tiny Herd where we talk about everyday pet care for guinea pigs, rabbits, and other small pets. Today we're doing something super fun. I have a full pet room cage theme for you guys. We are doing an under the sea cage theme that you can see kind of a brief overview right now. But I'm gonna be showing you guys in detail what fleece I have, what toys I have, and give you a closer look at these cages and the piggies. So let's get started. Okay, so first up, we're gonna start with the little babe's cage. This is Johnny and June's cage. And you can see we are doing an under the sea cage theme today. So all of the fleece in these cages I made myself. And yes, I do sell them on my Etsy store. The link will be down below. But I made all of the fleece myself, so there are some pads and pillows on their IKEA bed there. And then they just have their normal willow tunnel. They have a microfiber rug, and then you can see the smaller pads and the liners. All of the fun hanging toys that you guys are going to see in this video are from Chin Villa, and I will link them down below. They are just so cute, and they fit perfectly for this theme. And then the cupcake toy is from Winnie Guinea Pooh, and they will be linked down below as well. They make great toys for both guinea pigs and bunnies. So here we have a nice cube that I made. I love cubes for the piggies, and they absolutely love them as well. They make great Heidi's. We have our liner here, their normal tropical fiddlesticks. And you guys can see a little closer up of the pads. I originally made all of the cage liners for my three cages that were two by fives and now I have four cages so I had to get a little creative and use some extra darker blue ones but it looks fine so it's just their little hay area and then here is their other hanging toy from Chin Villa super cute fish toy so I will give you guys just one more quick overview of the little babe's cage I really like how it turned out I think it's really cute with the Ikea bed I love having a cube for them. They absolutely love laying in the cube. So theirs turned out pretty cute. All right, and then next up, we have my senior girl's cage. So this is Lily and Callie's cage. Here is just a quick overview, and then I will explain in more detail everything that you guys are seeing here. And there's Callie showing it off. So again, for them, they have cute little pillows on their Ikea bed. They just have a nice little green circle microfiber rug from Ikea underneath there. You can see their nice liners. All of the liners for these cages are two by threes, and I use two per cage for my two by five cages. Here is their really super cute hanging toy, again from Chin Villa, cute little crab. Then I have a squishy couch that I made. This design is from Guinea Piggies Designs, but I absolutely love these. I'll probably take the pillows off so the piggies can actually use it, but I'm interested to see if they'll use it and if they'll lay on it. But it has a removable pad on it, as you can see, and I just thought it was so dang cute. I had to try my hand at making one. And then here is another look at the liners. They have their tropical fiddle sticks as well. And then we have a nice foam tunnel here. I absolutely love these and the piggies do as well. They are huge, so two piggies fit in these at one time if they like to be in a tunnel at the same time. But that is just perfect there for them and these girls absolutely love tunnels. And then we just have a one by two pad there and then another cupcake from Winnie Guinea Pooh and another cute fish hanging toy from Chin Villa. The next cage is for my newest boys, Ron and Neville. So they are in a two by four right now since they are new and I need to rearrange to be able to fit them in a two by five, but they got to take part in the cage theme as well. So they have another hanging toy from Chin Villa and then just a willow ball. They have their extra large igloo, which they love. You can see Ron laying in it there. Then they have their nice liners, as you can see. And then they also have a foam tunnel. I don't really know what kind of Heidi's they like yet, so I wanted to try something new with them. And they seem to like the tunnel so far. And they also have a, another hanging toy from Chin Villa that is this super cute whale. So on this side, they just have this nice fleece forest. They love hiding under here. And Neville is actually under there right now, just kind of chilling. There isn't anything under there, but they just really love laying it back in that corner underneath there. So that is the new boy's cage. And then last but not least, we have Jelly Bean and Georgie's cage. Can you spy the super comfy Jelly Bean in the fleece forest? So here is an overview of their cage. 
They are also in a two by five, and this cage is two two by three liners as well. So starting on this side, they also have a, Georgie is chattering at me, okay. They also have a one by two fleece for us. They absolutely love that, and Jelly Bean is very comfy underneath there. Then they just have a willow tunnel and their tropical fiddlesticks as well. And then a cute little fish toy, as you've seen from Chinvilla back in the corner. Then there's just a good show off of the liners here. Another willow tunnel. And then that hanging hay kind of like activity toy is also from Winnie Guinea Pooh. And I really like that. And the boys have been pulling hay out of it like crazy. They have another willow tunnel. And then... They also have a cube in the corner. They love hiding in the cubes as well. And they have one of the cute crab toys as well. And Jelly Bean has already been working on the bottom of this toy. So it seems to be a winner with the pigs. So I will give you all another overview of all of the cages. I absolutely love having a full room cage tour. And this print is just one of my favorites. I absolutely loved it. And I had to get it and do an entire room cage theme with it. So let me know what you guys think down below. I loved being able to find those hanging toys that matched perfectly. So that was great. I just think this turned out so super cute. So thank you guys for watching today. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Make sure to follow me on Instagram because you actually get voted on whether you wanted to see this tour first or my bees. So if you want to be able to vote on stuff like that, make sure to follow me on Instagram. But again, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you in my next video. Bye.